still watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. We are kicking off your 11 minutes at nonstop news with straight news, traffic, and weather. Here's what you need to know as you are heading out the door this morning. A mother will learn her fate after a DeKalb County jury found her guilty of hiding her son's death. The YSL trial is on break for the next 10 days, but a lot of you still reacting to what happened in court yesterday. The moment's going viral on social media. And we are tracking severe thunderstorms off to the west of us that will be making their way toward us. We'll be arriving here by this afternoon. We'll let you know what you can expect. But right now, let's head out to Jerry Carnes, who is in Spalding County, where they are preparing for the severe weather one year after devastating tornadoes. A good morning, Chesley. One year after those devastating tornadoes that came through this area, uh, you can see that uh, the debris has been cleared away from this spot where a home once stood, but the family that owned the home destroyed by those tornadoes have yet to start rebuilding. We are on Kensington Drive just outside of the city of Griffin, an area that is a patchwork of homes that have been replaced and others still wearing the wounds of the powerful tornadoes. Volunteer groups continue to help storm victims that have fallen through the cracks. At least 30 families were uninsured or underinsured. The Griffin Spalding County Volunteer Organization needs donations to keep going and help uh, continue helping those families that have fallen through the cracks. Because of to the potential of stormy weather today, a gathering that was supposed to take place to mark the one year anniversary of those devastating storms has been postponed. Back to you. Jerry, thank you. In just hours, a DeKalb County mother will learn how long she will be in prison. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas joining us in studio. Liza, Teresa Black found guilty of concealing her son's death. That's right, Aisha. Teresa Black was on trial for murder and concealing the death of her six-year-old son, William Hamilton. William's body, you may remember, was found in 1999, but not identified until 2022. Now, this week, a jury found Black not guilty of murder, but the jury did find her guilty of concealing William's death for two decades. The sentencing for Black will take place at 10 this morning. Now, as for how much time Teresa Black faces in prison, the DA expects the sentence could be anywhere between one and 10 years. So stick with 11 Alive. We will bring you the very latest updates right here later in the day. All right, Liza, thank you so much. While Chesley is tracking storms this afternoon, right now they're moving in from the west. This is video from El Paso, Texas. Take a look. Wind tore part of the roof of a complex at an apartment off, some of it landing on cars parked below a lot of damage. And a live look at Centennial Olympic Park in downtown Atlanta right now as we are waiting for those storms to move in. So far, all clear this morning. There are several districts, though, who've already canceled class for the day, including Coweta and Clayton. There are more districts switching to virtual learning. They're monitoring weather, whether to decide to close early for the day and have an early release. So if you want the changing list sent right to your phone, just text the number 404-885-7600 with the word closings. And that was a look at your top headlines on the Friday morning. Chesley, we are kind of clear right now, but this morning it could get dicey later this afternoon. That's absolutely right. So we need to pay attention to the forecast because of all that rain we had earlier in the week. The ground is already saturated. Any amount of water is just going to add to that. Plus, you talk about some winds that will start to pick up today as well, and that could lead to trees toppling over and lead to more power outages. So something else we need to be aware of. Right now, not much going on. I think our morning commute will be fine. You see the rain that's just now entering into the state. Our westernmost counties, very, very light. Maybe just a few dots on your windshield up here toward George's Rome, up toward Lafayette as well. That will continue to slide further off to the north. It will spread east as well, so we'll all get in on it by mid-morning. And then the heavier rain doesn't come in until later on this afternoon. You're looking at temperatures in the 30s over here toward the east. Over to the west, we have temperatures in the 40s. 44 degrees right now in Atlanta and over toward Marietta. Carrollton, the same. 46 in George's Rome, 45 down towards Thomason. We're going to get up to about 61 degrees for the afternoon high. Grab the rain gear. You're going to need that, of course, with those scattered thunderstorms around. And the winds will will be quite gusty this afternoon as well. They're light right now, but just starting to pick up just a little bit. We'll see those winds really start to pick up, especially as we head toward mid morning and into the afternoon. We're talking anywhere between 15 and 20, 20 miles per hour uh, around the metro, higher than that up here to the north. And uh, that's just the wind speeds. The gusts will be even higher at times. Because of that, we have a wind advisory. Starts at 10 a.m. and will last through the wee hours of the morning on Saturday. That's area wide. Up here to the far north, those winds will be a little bit stronger. Our northernmost counties will experience winds 
between 20 and 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Of course, that could lead to power outages. Of course, those stronger winds up there to the north could knock over some more trees. Tornado watches in effect back off here to the west over northern and central portions of Mississippi. You can already start to see some tornado warnings associated with that severe thunderstorm warnings as well. We're expecting that line to get over toward us by this afternoon. So after about one or two o'clock, we could see that because of that, we have a slight risk for severe weather. This yellow shade that you see here is a level two out of a possible five for our area up here to the far north is where we have the level one threat or a marginal risk isolated or uh, strong severe thunderstorms are certainly possible once we get into the afternoon with that main line moving through. Now, as far as the tornado threat goes, it's very low. That's indicated by this green shade. You look at our legend up here. You got a, a higher threat once you get down toward Macon and into the southern portions of the state. All right, so our major threat with this storm will be the damaging winds that will be possible. You got a moderate risk for the heavy rain. It won't be as heavy as what we saw earlier in the week. As it's a fast mover, it won't add up to much either. Low threat for the tornadoes, and we're not worried about hail at all for this afternoon. Timing of the storm, again, brings it into our area after about 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that main line. Should move through the metro area between 3 and 4 o'clock this afternoon and should be well east of us by the time we get to 6, 7 o'clock where we'll clear it out and then some Colder air will start to move into our area. More on that in a seven day outlook coming up. One of the top stories on our website right now is in Fulton County in the slow moving YSL trial. A jury listened to the entire length of a song Atlanta rapper and defendant Young Thug was featured in. Take a listen. I got sisters and brothers to feed. They ain't going out like no idiot. I'm the lawyer argues the video is evidence that Young Thug has no gang ties and the prosecution's case just criminalizes the rapper's art. You'll find more specifics on that argument right now on our homepage. The trial is paused this morning through next week. The judge told the court it's going to give the jurors a little time off. Staffing has been a concern for a lot of area police departments, but now the city of South Fulton's chief says they're so close to getting fully staffed. The department started another round of recruitment. Police Chief Keith Meadows says the goal is 350 officers on staff who are highly qualified. Because we want to make sure that we're getting the best and the brightest in the organization. We're not just trying to fill a uniform, but we're trying to make sure that we have those people that embody the values of South Fulton. The chief says they are on track to hire another 50 officers soon. One group is honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by helping local children. It's based at Georgia State and they're hosting a dream big book drive. Data shows only one in 300 low income areas have Atlanta, in Atlanta have a book at home. Organizers hope the community can donate more new and gently used children's books. It's super important for kids to have books at home, and it's super important, too, for them to be very proficient readers by the time they're in the third grade. Come third grade, they're reading to learn instead of learning to read. So we're hoping to give kids books. All right, we can all make a difference. They're collecting books at all GSU campuses. Donation boxes are in the Student Center. You can also mail books or just donate them via an Amazon wish list. We've got all the details for you at 11alive.com. Also on the website, we have a full list of MLK Day events compiled for you. Go there, click on the Entertainment tab. Chesley, you'll find it all there. Absolutely. All right, by noon, that's when we'll start to see some of those showers around the area, isolated showers between mid-morning and noon. Once we get past one, two o'clock. That's where we start to see those thunderstorms moving into the area. They'll be with us at least through four or five. 61 degrees will be our afternoon high temperature. By six o'clock, things will start to settle down. We'll keep the clouds in place. They'll gradually start to break up through the overnight, but those winds stay strong as well right on through the rest of the day, folks. Temperatures will cool down over the weekend, back down to the 40s on Saturday with sunshine, right around 50 degrees by Sunday, and then into next week, highs will only be into the 30s. Be advised. And don't forget, you can always take us with you on the go. You can always catch 11 Alive on the streaming app on your schedule. Just download the 11 Alive Plus app to your Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. Oh, man, I just got a taste for, like, some breakfast tacos. Mm. Mm, Let's man. go to Mama's. Oh, right across the street. Let's roll. Those are soft, right? Soft tacos? Yeah, yeah. Look at this soft. Look at this soft. Yeah. yeah. I'll take whatever. <laughs> Order up. Have a great day, everybody.